Hi, I'm Matt Messiano. Welcome to an introduction to Steadicam. Part one, introduction to Steadicam. Okay, so what is the Steadicam? Well, basically the Steadicam is a device that allows you to carry the camera around whilst keeping a steady shot. It's like a handheld camera, except it's got this big device that you wear and it has an iso-elastic arm that comes out to it and allows you to walk around with the Steadicam whilst keeping the camera steady, therefore giving you a steady shot. It was invented in the mid-1970s by cameraman Garrett Brown, and it was introduced as a, a stunt camera so that you can walk across rough ground whilst keeping the camera steady. So why is it such an important tool? Well, it can do a lot more than just running shots. OK, it can do those very, very well, but it, it opens up a whole new potential to camera movement. Before the Steadicam was invented, the POV shot was just a simple steel shot. But now with the Steadicam, you can actually become the person and move around, which opens up a whole new potential to POV shots. Also, you can follow characters. For example, in The Goodfellas, when Ray Liotta is walking down the corridor, Larry McConkie, the operator at the time, was carrying his Steadicam and following all the way around the corridors, and that made a brilliant shot and really helped to emphasise the character's position in that film. So the Steadicam is a lot more than just a stunt camera. Part 2. Steadicam Ergonomics. OK, well, the Steadicam is basically made up of three things. It is a vest that statically and dynamically balances the load over the operator's body. It is the isoelastic arm that isolates the movement from the cameraman to the camera. And it is the sled. Within the sled, there is a gimbal that can be balanced by three axes. Fore to aft, side to side and top to bottom. There's also a monitor so you can view your work and the batteries to power the whole thing. Part three, assembly and balancing. Okay, first things first, you want to set up yourself a grip stand like this. You want to adjust it to the right level for you. Then you want to get yourself the docking bracket. The docking bracket is made up of the yoke and an aircraft pin and two other knobs that you can put the Steadicam the arm, and if you want to, the vest on. OK. Take the docking bracket. Put it on there. On the back you'll see a little screw. Screw it in like so. Take the steady cam. Place it in to the yoke. Aircraft pin. Push in the button so that it will go through. And now our steady cam is on the docking bracket. OK, next we want to attach the dovetail plate to the camera itself. I'm using the DV100 um, and it is a little bit light so I have attached a weight onto the top of my dovetail plate which is something you can do or not. Um, crucially though I have my camera screw at the top there. Um, basically I'm just going to put this on there uh, and then I'm just going to screw it in. Okay and you want to make sure that it doesn't move around because if it does move around when it's on top it's going to take the balance all out of question. So you want to make sure this is tight so that can be balanced properly. Next you want to attach the batteries. Uh, for this flyer you only really need one but for this tutorial I'll use two. And uh, basically on the back we have little locking mechanisms. You just simply put on there, click, put that on there, click and that's it. Okay now we're ready to attach the camera to the steady cam. What you want to do for this is put it in this way. Push it in. Then you want to unscrew this one here and then push up, push it forward. You hear the click. That means that it's ready to be screwed back in and that shouldn't move around. To release it, you simply unscrew again, push up again, and this time at the end we're going to need to pull down this little pin just to stop it from falling off. So we'll push all the way through, and that is how you attach and detach the camera. Okay, now we need to balance the camera. The first thing we have to do is find the centre of gravity. Now, to begin with, before we even had the steady cam. The centre of gravity in the camera was in the middle of the camera somewhere. And that's why when you're doing handheld footage, 
it's very difficult to keep it stable because it's very difficult to get onto the centre of gravity. This Steadicam actually spreads out its components, so you've got a monitor here, batteries there, camera up the top, which means the centre of gravity is now somewhere around about here. We can tell where the centre of gravity is because if we take this camera and we turn it on its horizontal axis, it should be just falling to the batteries. Okay, and it should be okay. Right, okay. Now, as you can tell, it's a little bit slanted. So what you want to do now is you want to adjust the fore and aft and the side to side buttons on the side. To do this, first we need to unlock this little screw here, which will allow us to move the camera. Okay, and it's not too bad at the moment. We just need to give it a touch more to the left. Okay, so we'll just turn the fore and aft to the left. And you can see every movement I make has a big impact on the balance of the camera system. Okay, another turn, side to side, just a little bit. And that's not too bad at all. Okay, so I'll lock that off. Uh, and now we need to test that it has a good uh, balance. And we'll do that by doing the drop test. So again, we'll take it to the horizontal. And most operators are looking for a drop timer between three, two and three seconds. So uh, let's see here. Let's drop it. We're going to take it from here to there, by the way. Okay. One, two. That's okay. That will do nicely for me. Okay, now we are ready to take the Steadicam off and uh, start playing with it. Part 4, Steadicam application. Okay, before we can put this beauty on, we need to put in a vest so that we can spread the load of this out dynamically and statically. Okay, so we pick up the vest here. This is a front-mounted vest. You can get back-mounted ones, but uh, Steadicam themselves don't make them. And uh, I prefer the stuff that Steadicam makes themselves, so uh, that's why I prefer the front-mounted vest. Okay, you can see here you've got a clip around the waist, two more around the rib position, and then two more at the shoulders. Now, fitting it couldn't be easier. Basically, you pull this pin in the middle, it goes up or down, depending on what size you are, and then it'll just click in like that. I find it easy if you just open one side and then sort of put it on as though it was, I don't know, like a life jacket. It is a little bit like a life jacket because it will potentially save your life in the fact that it will save your back from a lot of pain that you would have actually had to carry around if you was just carrying around a heavy camera on its own. Okay, so we'll take this, clip it in position. And you want it so it's nicely fitting on your shoulders. If it's not fitting on your shoulders and if it's not tight, then it won't do as good a job. So you need to make sure this is proper. I think that's about the right place for me. You need to tighten it up around the sides, and then you're ready to go. OK, we now have the vest fitted. Now it's time to put the arm on. Now, this isoelastic arm, basically what it does is it isolates the movement from the camera operator, i.e. me, to the sled, so that none of my movements will come in and be affected on the camera. OK, the best way of putting it in is by taking it in your left hand and then slotting it in with your right hand. If it doesn't go in the first time all the time. But there we go. OK, then we need to screw it in. We'll screw it in all the way on the bottom one. And all the way on the top one. And then we'll screw out the bottom one, quarter turn, just to stop the screw from binding. This top one will also need to be adjusted because it will make the Steadicam either go forward or back or left or right, depending on what it does when I put the Steadicam on. But I can't know that until I put it on. So let's put it on. So we've fitted the arm now and uh, always make sure to keep the arm into you and uh, holding onto it because otherwise this thing can fly around and bash somebody in the face and uh, if you're working with some actors out there who don't particularly want their teeth broken, it's advisable just to hang on to the arm. Okay, so to connect it, we need to take it off the balancing pin, put it back into the oak. It's always good practice to, to lock it off with the airplane pin, but I'm going to go straight into this, so uh, I'll just leave it there. 
Okay, now what you want to do is you want to bow to the throne of Garrett Brown, as it's known in the industry. Basically, get your feet nice and close to the stand here. Bend down. With your right hand, grasp the gimbal, the gimbal handle. Slot it in. And then what you want to do is you want to step in and allow this to rise for you. Okay, so I'm stepping in. And that's rose nicely. And now I'm going to take this into my left hand. And I'm going to operate with my right hand. Now, this position here is uh, what is known as goofy because I have the camera on the right side of me. Now, usually, this arm would be on the other side and uh, this camera would therefore be on the other side, but I operate goofy. Um, it's a term that came from skateboarding, which is when you uh, put your left foot forward rather than your right foot forward. Uh, and similarly, this is the opposite way to regular, which is, as I just described on the other side here, and uh, that's basically how you hold the camera. With your right hand, what you want to do is just lightly touch it. You want to have your thumb here, your pinky there, and the rest of your fingers just lightly touching it. Your power hand is your right hand, or in my circumstance, the left hand, and that's the hand that's going to make it go down and up. And move it across. Like so. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to turn the monitor on. Now, as you can see, I've already connected my camera up. Basically, what you do is you use a BNC cable, which will go out from here, and then you'll take that and you'll put it into the video cable connector there. Uh, it's fairly simple to set up, uh, and then you just press power, and it will come on. And that is how you fly a steady cam. Missionary position is when you are walking forward and the camera is facing forward. You can also walk backwards. Don one is when the camera is facing behind you and the operator is still facing forward. You can also walk backwards. Okay, well, thank you for watching my Steadicam tutorial. I hope I've been able to help. If you want some further advice, then there's a really good book out there called the Steadicam Operator's Handbook, written by Jerry Holway and Laurie Habel. And uh, in there, they've got 10 great lessons which you just really learn, uh, such as walking the line and uh, walking around a square, which is really, really good to, uh, to get you up to the basics of the uh, standard operating. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.